new set redesigned problem solved about material balances and separations. Problem number one. A capillary sludge drying system operates a feed rate 270 kg per hour and accepts a sludge with a solids content of 550,000 mg per liter. The dried sludge is 770,000 mg per liter solids and the liquid stream contains 95,000 mg per liter solids. What is the liquid flow in the liquid stream in liter per hour? Note, assume densities of sludge soils, sludge and water is equal to 1 kg per liter. Wet sludge C1 is equal to 550,000 mg per liter. The flow is 270 liter per hour, while the dry sludge C1 is 770,000 mg per liter, and the flow 2 is unknown. While in liquid stream, C3 is 95,000 mg per liter, and the Q3 is unknown. C1 is equal to Q1 minus C2 times Q2 plus C2 times Q2. Q1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3. So, two equations, two unknowns. C1 times Q1 is equal to C2, Q2 plus C2 times Q1 minus Q2. So, to find the liquid flow in the liquid stream, Q2 is equal to C1 minus C3 times Q1 over C2 minus C3. So, 550,000 minus 770,000 times 270 over 95,000 minus 770,000 is equals 88 liter per hour. So, our liquid flow in the liquid stream is equals to 88 per liter per hour. Well, problem number two. The question is, what is the solid flow in the liquid stream in kilogram per hour? So, the solution is Q2 times C2 is equals to Q2 times C2 times 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 kilogram per milligram. So, to find, this, to find it, 88 times 95,000 times 1 times 10 raised to negative 6, which is the answer is 8.36 kilogram per hour solids. The other problem is what is the quantity of dried sludge in kilogram per hour? So the same question. So the solution is Q1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3. Q1 is equal to 270, while Q2 is equal to 88, and the unknown is Q3. And the answer Q3 is 182 liter per hour. To find the quantity of dried sludge in kilogram per hour, Q2 times C3, which is equal to Q3 times C3, times 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 kilogram per milligram. Q3 times C3 is equal to 182 liter per hour times 770,000 times 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 kilogram per milligram. So, the total quantity of the dried sludge in kilogram per hour is 140.40. Lastly, a solid waste processing plant has two classifiers that produce air-fused derived fuel or RFP from a mixture of organic and inorganic refuse, a portion of the plant schematic is shown below. If A sub 0 is equal to 20 tons per hour and B sub 0 is equal to 35 tons per hour, A1 is equal to 3 ton per hour and B1 is equal to 27 ton R. A4 is equal to 2 ton R and B4 is equal to tons R per hour. So the question is, what is the flow of A and B from classifier 1 to classifier 2? The second one is, what is the composition of the classifier 2 exceeds stream A3 times NB3? And lastly, what is the purity of the RFD and the recovery of component A? To find the flow A and B from classifier 1 to classifier 2, the rate accumulated is equal to rate in minus rate out minus rate produced minus rate consumed calculate. So in other words, 0 is equal to QA0 minus QA plus QA2 plus 0 minus 0. So QA2 is equal to 20 tones per hour, meaning it is 3 tones per hour, which is the final answer minus 17 tones per hour. Well, to calculate the QB2 as follows, 0 is equal to QB0 
minus the quantity of QB1 plus QB2 is equal to 0 plus 0 minus 0. So the total QB2 is equal to 35 tones per hour minus 27 tones per hour is equal to 8 tones per hour. So to calculate the composition of the exit stream from classifier 2 using the following relation, rate accumulated minus is equal to rate in minus rate out minus rate consumed calculate like the other one. So 0 is equal to QA sub 2 minus the quantity of QA3 plus QA4 the quantity plus 0 is minus 0. So the QA3 is equal to 7 tons per hour minus 2 tons per hour which is equal to 15 tons per hour. So to the following is to find the QB4. QB0 is equal to QB2 minus quantity of QB3 plus QB4 plus 0 minus 0. QB3 is equal to 8 tons per hour minus 3 tons per hour which is equal to 5 tons per hour. And lastly, the purity of the arm at the end the recovery of the component A will have an answer of 75% from the QA3 minus QA3 times 100, which is 15 over 20 times 100. That comes up with the answer 75%. That's all. Thank you.